Emmy woke up like at four in the morning. She had a really nasty headache. And um, I think she finally got back to sleep. And she got another massive headache. Um, I got her breakfast. She seemed fine at the time. But then I came back down around noon to see if she wanted any lunch. And she was really out of it, had a difficult time talking and um, could not even really walk very well on her own. So at that point, I decided, my husband and I decided to take her, that I was going to take her to the hospital. We were coming close to the fire station, and she looked at me and said, I think I'm going to pass out. And I thought, this is not good. If she passes out or something, I'm driving. I just turned right into the driveway of the fire station and ran in and they were there fortunately and uh, they they were really good they came in and did everything that they needed to do to figure out what was going on with her I said do you think it's safe enough for me to drive her to the hospital and they said no uh, we need to take her in an ambulance and so um, they got her loaded up I followed and she um, arrived into the ER and shortly after she got to the ER she had a massive um, seizure. They did a lot of MRIs and CT scans because they didn't know what was wrong with her and they finally uh, found out that she had a one inch by one inch abscess inside her brain. The fire station that I went to which is actually just a few blocks down the road from me was the Rancho Santa Fe fire department. I felt something pop in my head and that's when I was like oh there's something kind of wrong here I didn't know what was going on and then when I got there I was like oh okay now they're in control they'll do the right thing and you know I don't have to worry. It's like feeling like a dead body when you're still aware. The sense of security of knowing that there was somebody there that could handle the situation, trained people better than even remotely. I could not have handled that situation. Uh, so to know that they were there and they were watching her gave me a level of comfort that unless you're in the situation, unless you're a parent and you've been in that situation, you will not understand. It was incredibly comforting to know that she was in the best hands. The Rancho Santa Fe Fire Department demonstrated when they took care of my daughter, when I was in need, when she was in need, that they are extraordinary and they are there for, they were there for me and my daughter, they're there for our entire community. I'm glad having a group as good as Rancho Santa Fe on my side. Like I, I, I shudder to think it would, it could have happened if uh, you guys hadn't been there for my mom and me. The Rancho Santa Fe Firefighters Foundation was set up to provide the extra things that the firefighters need, and you know I think there's just not enough funding from other sources so this helps close that gap and I would encourage everybody that can to generously donate to this fund because they need to have every tool available to them if you think about it from the perspective of if it were your family or your neighbors your close neighbors you would want them to have what they need. So I would tell people that if they can donate as much as they can generously, they're a great fire department.